Denver's Five Points neighborhood is saying goodbye to another business. Coffee at the Point is closing its doors. Denver 7's Micah Smith looks at the impact on the neighborhood. In the nook where five streets meet to form Denver's Five Points neighborhood, sits coffee at the point. Our customers have been just phenomenal over the last 12 years. Owner Ryan Cobbins says that's why he held out hope that his beloved coffee shop could remain right here. Paused operations of coffee at the point on July 31st, so six months ago, um, and, and during that time leading up to, to this point that we're talking right now, it's just been a lot of self-reflection. I think at, at one point, there was a, an incredible concerted effort to get us reopened. But Cobbins says the pandemic, rising supply costs, staffing shortages, and a lawsuit involving a former business partner led to his recent decision to permanently close. I mean, it's just been kind of like a punch in the gut um, and, it, and it keeps surfacing. And so I, I've released some of that. It's tough because uh, I, I personally know Ryan as a friend. Um, and I also know him as a business person, and he, and he ran a great business. Sudhir Kudva, owner of 715 Club, says when one business closes along this corridor, all businesses feel it. When I see somebody close down, it means less foot traffic, right? Even though I'm not open the same time there, it's less foot traffic. People come here, all of a sudden you have to be a destination as a single entity rather than a destination as a community. Kudva says it's no secret a lot of businesses on Welton Street have struggled. Right now, I put this solely on just hesitancy to develop in this neighborhood for a reason that I do not know. And Cobbin says despite his business closing, he plans to work to reverse this trend. I still champion our businesses. Five Points is not dead. As Cobbin stands out front for one of the last times, he thinks about the past decade. The things that happened in this space with folks coming in, you know, first time home buyers signing closing documents and, you know, people meeting their, their, their now married partner. Cobbin says his business may be closed, but his heart will always be right here in the center of Five Points. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.